Here is one of the best questions in this set of videos. It's regarding domain and range of transformed function. The function f of x has domain x belongs to real numbers such that x is greater than minus 1 and less than minus 5. And the range of y belongs to real number where y is greater than minus 1. Determine the domain and range of y equals to 5 minus 3 times f of 2x plus 1. Now, I would like you to copy this question, take your time and answer this. And once you have answered, then look into my suggestions. Uh, here are my suggestions. Now, this problem is kind of complicated but I hope at the end of this set of videos you should be in a position to answer it without any difficulty. There are a few critical aspects to this problem and taking them I would like to review what we have learned during this series. So we are trying to look into a transform function which is y equals to 5 minus 3 of 3 times f of 2x plus 1. Now what are the transformations taking place? To be absolutely clear about the transformation, it is a good idea to write this in the standard way which you normally see. And that is, that is like this, y equals to, so we'll write this first, minus 3 f of, and then here we have 2x, coefficient of x is 2. Whenever it is like that, coefficient should be always 1. We need to factor. So factor this 2. So we get 2 times x and then this will become plus half, right, when you factor this. And plus 5, write it on this side. Now once you do that, now things become more familiar, right? You can correlate with your standard transfer function equation and you know that these points refer to vertical and these refer to horizontal and kind of becomes easier to you know answer the questions. Now with this equation in place help me out to write down what is going to be the domain and range for this particular function. Let's look into the domain part first. So the domain gets transformed, of course, but how? So as far as the domain is concerned, the parameters which we need to look into are the ones which are within this square bracket. So this is the one which gives us horizontal compression by a factor of half, right? And this gives us horizontal translation half unit left so these are the parameters which are going to affect domain because they affect the x value okay so what we will do here is that is the domain so we'll just change these two numbers we'll transform them so the transformation is that the x value become half and then left means minus half. So the transformation in the x value is that if the original x value was x then it gets transformed to half of x minus half. This is what happens, correct? So let's do this and write down our domain now. So domain for the transformed function becomes x belongs to real numbers so that minus half, this becomes minus half, minus one times this, right? Minus half and then minus half, right? So it becomes minus one. Do you see that? So it remains kind of same, minus one. And x is less than five times half is five and a half, right? Five times half is five and a half. So 5 and a half, we can write this as 2.5. And 2.5 minus 0.5, 0.5.
will give me 2. So this becomes 2. Correct? So that is how the x points change. Let me show you here what I did. So with minus 1, I did minus 1 times how, right? That x value is minus 1 and then minus 1. So this was my this value. So that is minus half minus half gave me minus 1. The, so this was x and this side was half of 5 which is 2.5 minus 0.5. So I get 2. Do you see that? So that is how I got my domain. And now let's look into range. Range is actually affected by the values outside this. These are the range values. So what is happening to range? Let's look into that now. In the case of range, what we notice is that the y values get transformed. They get multiplied by minus 3. So I get minus 3 times y and then plus 5. So this is the transformation which takes place for the y values. So therefore, we'll apply this transformation and write down our answer. So y value is y belongs to real numbers and y is greater than minus 1. Minus 1 times minus 3 is plus 3. Plus 3 plus 5 is 8. So that's what we get range. You understand how? We'll replace y with minus 1 here. So we get minus 3 times minus 1 plus 5, right? Which is 3 plus 5, 8. So that is how our domain and range is going to change for the transformed function. I hope now it must be absolutely clear to you how to do these kinds of questions or rather how to correlate the points from the function and its image on transform function. I hope you like it. Thanks and all the best.